go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We took a week off. Life's been crazy. Um, not everyone will be here tonight for, for this episode, but um, we're starting things off with initiative. Everyone has already rolled. The, the biggest thing now is we, we left off... We left off with the players making a big decision on whether they wanted to go towards the village or whether they wanted to go deep into the forest. Um, so, guys, where do you want to go? And you did hear screams in the forest, and you possibly saw some smoke coming from where the caravan said they were attacked by orcs. We all know the answer to that. We're going to go in the forest and see where the screen is coming from. Right? Uh, anyone object? What was the question? I, I missed something. We either go in the forest or continue our path towards the village that was allegedly destroyed by uh, a mixture of enemies. So didn't we uh, already line. have a... Like, I know me, I'm a... But... I'm going in the forest. You went kind of robotic there. Right, you went a, a little robotic. But I, I think I made out. You said you wanted to go into the forest. I, yes, my character will go into the okay. forest. Uh, Pat is also going to the forest. Uh, and for the listeners at home, Pat is uh, the mnemonist. He is uh, playing remotely through text, so it might be a little confusing, uh, but we will we, we will make this happen. Alrighty. Quick, so, quick question. What are the black lines? Uh, directions in Pat which you guys could go. Okay. Um, but... Oh, and Aaron, could you... Aaron, could you roll initiative for me as well, sir? Sure. Oops. Wrong keyboard. Perfect. All right. All righty. Aaron, what did you get on that roll? Uh, I don't know. It didn't come up. So you guys head toward... Oh, there you are. Alrighty. Seventeen. 17. Oh, beautiful. Plus... Uh, one, eighteen. Oh, nice. Nice. Alrighty. So as you guys... As you guys head into the forest, it is a very thick, and it's dark. Uh, I said around this time it was around, uh, it was around 8 o'clock. <clears throat> it was very thick. Um, there was still a little bit of light, and you follow this path, this sort of, like, um, worn path, um, where, where, where a lot of caravans and travelers take. And as you guys, you guys pick up the pace as you, as the screams and fighting continues and you arrive in this sort of fork in the road where there is a mixture of dead orcs, dead fur bulgs, dead, uh, dead orcs, dead fur bulgs, and a few dead drow around. And in the center of this of this fork in the road, you see four drow, one three of which seeming to have swords, 
one seeming to have this sort of like uh, flowing cloak, and you see a furbolg and an orc on their knees, their arms cut, and they are just heaving in pain. Uh, let me send this off to Pat. Orcs. Question is, do they see us? Uh, doesn't appear so. So we have drow and a couple hostages while we get. <clears throat> Are any of the fur bulbs alive? Yes. Uh, there is one that is standing. His. Yep. Uh, his back is towards an orc, and you see in front of him is like this maul, but his, it looks like his under, his arms, maybe where the tendons were, were cut, and he's on his knees. Okay, whenever you get to maybe the knee, again. I already know what I'm gonna do. Alrighty. Um. Alrighty. These four drought, they seem to be talking, interrogating, um, kind of pushing them, um, but you really can't make out the distinct chatter, you just know that they are interrogating them. Brad, they don't, they don't seem to notice you guys. Um, Brad, I'll let you make the first move, since you're first on the initiative okay, order. Okay, so if, I'm gonna For, go up to the fur bulga and I'm going to speak in giant, are you okay? What happened here? Alrighty. So, I guess I didn't paint the scene good enough. The Furbolg is surrounded by the drow. Ah, okay. Um, you I guys are about... To... Uh, I'll, pa I'll, I'll paint a, be a better picture. You guys are about... Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, you guys are about 60 feet away, down off the road. Um, you, yeah, you're about 60 feet away. Um, about 70 feet away, um, as you guys see this troop. Um, how many drow are there, like? Four. There's four. Okay, cool. Uh, um, go ahead. I say... Because hmm, maybe this whole scene isn't as, it's, as it appears. Maybe the drow aren't also, doing what they're doing. <laughs> my inclination, though, I see... Another verbal. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot an arrow at the first drow that the one that's Alrighty. closest to me. Uh, if sure. Yeah. My... Sure. Um, sure. I will say <laughs> since you are not seen, I'll give you advantage on this. Um, there is one with a sword and one with a hand crossbow. Actually, oopsies. Okay. Uh, I made it. Oopsie doopsies. Uh, sorry. You just see, um, yeah, you see one with a hand crossbow. I can only see that one? Well, uh, there's four, but the one that's closest to you has the sort of, like, dagger and hand crossbow. Okay, so, are any of them making aggressive actions toward the furball that just <laughs> screams? So, yes, I mean... It sounds like if I put two. Well, we don't know the furball screams. screams. We know a scream happens. Well, they they are, they are bloodied. Um, the severed arms. Yeah, like the um the tendons on the arms are cut of one of the of the furball. You can kind of note. You can kind of tell. Um, the the mage who's wearing like this, this white cloak, is sort of like. He's doing something with his hands. To, like, the orc. You don't know, like, with his hands, like, uh, you really don't know what it could be, but... Alright, I know what I'm gonna do. Wait, hang on. If you're ready, you're ready. Well, it's Brad's turn, so he gets to decide. Yeah, go ahead. 
on yes. the initiative count and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot an arrow at the one that looks like he's doing a spell or something aggressive. Like they're all sure. just standing there being menacing, right? But that one guy. I yeah. See him. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll I'll let you have advantage on this. Okay. All right. Uh, I got. Thankfully, I had advantage on it because I got a one die and a one on the other die. What did you get for the first so one? What a way to start the the uh, the combat. What did you get in the first well, there, one? There's a twenty, so it's twenty. Twenty. What do you mean um, for the first one? He will. As he go, as you go and do that his head twitches and he quickly casts a spell um casting shield as the arrow shatters we're under attack uh, uh, okay all right you're the, the DM. What, what you said a natural 20 or a dirty 20 let's do I got a nat 20. Oh, a nat 20. I thought you said a dirty 20. I'm sorry. You kept roboting yeah, there. Got, it's hard to hear you. Yeah. No, I got a... With it, sorry, I'm going to go back out to my car here in a minute where I better signal, but I got a 20 on the paint at advantage because I got... Okay. Sorry, I thought you got a dirty 20. My apologies. No, that's all right. It's the connection. I know it is. All righty. I'm thinking about going back out to my car, but it's raining. Let's see here. Okay. Two sets of guy, an umbrella. All, All right. right. So, um, if you would roll damage for me, it's a D8 for my crossbow, and then I'm gonna use my hunter's. I cannot remember the name of it, but it it replaced. Uh, do you remember the 1D4 that I added yeah. to? It's like hunter's mark, but it's yeah. something different. I don't remember what it's called. It's a 1d8 plus... In fact, I have d and d on. 1d8... So it's it's going to be a d8 double. Uh, we'll do d8 double... Plus 4. And then it's a... Favorite foe. So two, uh, two D, two D eight. Yeah, that's nineteen. Bow. That's nineteen damage, and then. Perfect. Uh, that is a total of twenty one, twenty three dam. Uh, oh boy, Tw uh, a lot of damage. Uh, twenty five damage. Dang, dude. You need to. You need to like. Calm down. 24 damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Um, I'm happy with this damage. Wow. Okay. And then we're going to do that. Alright. Alrighty. Um, Alrighty. It is... And then Aaron, it's your... I'm going to move oh. closer to them. You said they're 60 feet away, so I'm going to... I'm going to cut that distance in half with 30 feet of movement. All right. And that'll be in my turn. Five. Oh, boy. Actually, if you will, that won't in my turn. Do I still have hidden step? We have a whole new adventuring day, right? Did you lose it? I don't believe you used it last. I haven't used it since the snow. I used disguise self. I don't think. Yeah, we used it on the first encounter with the purple mm. worm and the drow. Yes. But then we leveled up. Yep. Okay, so before I start moving, so after I fire the bow, I'm going to hidden step and then move 30 feet. Is hidden... In whatever direction yep. you feel is necessary. Uh, I will say you blend in with the trees. Okay. Uh, beautiful. You So you're moving to the... It would be your left uh, behind some trees. All right, Aaron, it's your turn, sir. Okay. Real quick, you still have the like world map up, right? Or is it just being weird for me? Oh, I'm sorry. I did not move it to you. Oh, boy. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. There you go. Can you see that? Uh, characters yeah, are up okay. here. Can select your We're character. up here. Is that Pat? Right there. That, 
That is or whoever. Brad's character. That's Brad's character. Brad. Sorry. Okay, and then Verbal it's Verbal What's on the ground? Uh combination of orcs, furbolgs. There's like more, but there's like a lot of furbolgs and orcs. This guy's a furbolg, you can kind of notice. This guy's an orc. Um, I will say this, the drow do have their own lights kind of like circling them. So that's why it's kind of lit up a little bit. One second. Okay, so what's the slash 120 mean for the javelin? Like the range is 30 slash 120? Oh, it uh, means you can throw it you can throw it at disadvantage for the bigger number. The smaller number means you throw it at uh, you throw it normally, and then if you try to go for the, the bigger number, which is like the longer range, you want you throw that at disadvantage. Okay. And this is the uh, the mage is the one that got hit by. Uh, you all's arrow. So what's your plan? Okay, so my plan is to run to here, okay, and then throw a javelin at this guy here. Okay. You said here. Oh, and then throw a javelin there, and then. Alrighty. Make your uh, you can make uh, make your attack roll. Well, that's Dex, right? Yes, because you are throwing it. I, or strength. I think you can use strength for throwing as well. Eh, you can choose. I'm not going to be picky. Alright, 15. Plus your... Should have a... Uh, proficiency plus your strength to that. Ooh. So 19. Ooh, 19. Does a 19 hit these guys? Uh, they don't have their DC on here. Uh, what about here? Let's see. Uh, ooh, 19. Just hits. Nice. Uh, just hits. Um, you hit that guy. Uh, so roll for damage. And that has no modifiers, right? Uh, you add your strength to damage. Okay. Or dex, depending. I think you, since you use, do you use strength or dex for that? I use strength. Okay, so yeah, you, you would add your strength. So, seven total. Alright, beautiful. Um, let me get, let me do this. You hit that guy. Okay, beautiful. All right, it's Pat's turn. Um, Pat runs in. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um, and he is using. He is throwing his hand axes. I forget how much uh, I, need. I forget the throwing range on these guys. Uh, 20 feet. Uh, 
let's see, um, hat, yeah, 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 okay, so he's going to throw one of his two hand axes, ooh, got a natural 20, uh, as he throws that, and then he is going to deal 2d6 plus uh, ah sorry uh let's do sorry so he, he runs and throws his hand axes and he's getting uh strength plus proficiency Okay, um, just nine points of damage. He's throwing them at this guy, at the one that you hit, Aaron, with your javelin. Um, all right, it is, uh, Rob, it's your turn. All righty. Let's see. Well, okay, these guys are my friends. Those guys are bad. All right, uh... I guess, since I can't really touch them, I'm going to continue to be close by my team. So I'm going to be behind uh, Archer Guy. Hello? Yes, uh, you said behind the Archer Guy? Yeah, I'm going to move behind Sure. Him. Well, I'll tell you what, Roll20 is not fun on a mobile phone. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, all right, so you're behind. You can see everything now. Yes, yeah, so you are behind um, Pat's character. Um, uh, and just in case, I'm going to give him, uh, what was it, Shield of Faith? I think so. Yes. Allows him to get I'm give him plus... Shield of Faith. <laughs> All right. But let me uh, pull up my spells and read specifically so. what it can do. Uh, bonus action, small fire, many catch 10 minutes, Fire Paladin, Shimmering, Fields, Fusion Paladin, Creature of Choice, granting a plus 2 AC bonus. Okay. Alright, so you have plus 2 AC, uh, I think it's Aaron with the bow? It's, uh, it's Pat with the bow. Pat with the bow, my bad. Pat. We have plus 2 AC, okay. Alrighty. Is that your turn? That has to be for now. Alrighty. Uh, it is number four's turn. He, so, you notice these drow, they're a bit startled, they're like, what's, what's happening, what's going on? They're looking at each other, um, but then they all, like, they all agree what's going on, and this guy d just disappears. The one I just threw something at? Yeah, he... How do I delete this? And then make sure I paste it. Yep, okay, good. Alright, he disappears in the forest. Um, he's gonna make a check real quick. That sneaky fellow. Alrighty. Uh, yep, alright. And then... It is... The... It's the other Jaws turn. They are gonna go... Five... 10, 15, 20, 25, oh shoot, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, he's going to go there, um, he is going to withdraw a hand crossbow and shoot at uh, you, uh, he's going to shoot at you Rob. How could he? All right, roll for he rolled, it. He rolled in that one. He. <laughs> uh, and uh. then number two. It's gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, you. So he's gonna post up there. You. Now it's the mage's turn. 
the mage begins floating up into the air. And he's going to cast a... He begins waving. He's about 30 feet up in the air. And he's going to be casting uh, a spell where three, these three bolts of fire emit from his hand. And he's going to be throwing uh, three of them, two of them at you, Aaron, and one of them at you, Pat. All right. Uh, let me just let Pat know you are getting blasted with fire. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. Aaron does a 18 plus seven hit. Yeah. Okay. Did um, you have to ask? <laughs> uh, 18 plus seven. So uh, that's good. Uh, I think it's, it's, uh, sorry. That's the, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the, that's the, to hit. And then, sorry, I need to look up. It's a uh, Scorching Ray. I believe it's 2d8 fire damage. So, and then a 17, I'm sorry. That was a 18 plus 6. Sorry. Uh, and then a 10 plus 16 plus 6 misses. And then let me look at Nemanis. A 10 plus what? Uh, 10 plus 6. So 16. Oh, yeah. That misses. That misses. Okay, perfect. Um, and then... Or well, what's your AC again? I'm sorry. 16. Then it goes to the roller. Okay, so then it hits. Um, and then a 9 plus 6. 15. Nemanis is... 16. Okay, so Aaron, you take, um, sorry, not Nemanis, Aaron, you take, uh, 2d8 point, you take 48, sorry, 2d6, sorry, uh, so that would be 4d6 altogether, you're taking 12 points of fire damage, And Pat takes none. He missed. Sorry, this is new challenge. Okay, uh, so, and then he will begin kind of floating back. All right, Brad, it's your turn. Okay, I'm ready. I am going to use a bonus action to cast Ensnaring Strike for my next melee, or for my next attack, uh, weapon okay. attack. Okay. So, for a minute, I have to drop concentration on the favored foe. So yes. Fine. Uh, concentration for a minute. Strength save on this is a 13 if I hit. So, let me roll. 13 plus... I think eight on my bow. Let me see. Yeah, I have a plus eight attack, so twenty-one to hit. For who and who are you hitting? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hitting the mage that's floating up in the air. Uh, uh what's your what's your bow's uh, range? My bow's range. It's a longbow, so one fifty six hundred. One fifty. Alrighty, let me see what this mage's AC is real quick. Uh, you said one twenty. That's my... No, 150 is my range for the long um, go. I'm sorry. What did you hit with? I'm, I what was your dice roll? What, what, yeah, what was your dice roll? 21 was total. 13 plus 8. All right. 13 plus 8. All right. You... You wind up... You hit him. But as your arrow hits him... You quickly see him, like, rip. It looks like he's ripping himself out of himself. Ouchie, ouch. And wow. this sort of illusion takes his place, but he seems fine. Okay, so it hit, but it didn't do any damage. Like it was a Right, thing. right. But, okay, all right. 
Okay. Uh, I am visible now. Let me see where I'm yes. at. Yes. You're right over um, here. Ooh. I see. You're right behind yeah, these trees. Really... Okay. Um, well, I don't see any reason to... I'm going to move forward five feet and then Alrighty. to the left five feet. So I would be... Right there? Diagonally. One down. Oh. Sorry, right there. By the tree. By the bottom tree. Right there. There we go. There we go. That's where I'll end my turn. Alrighty. Aaron, it's your turn, sir. Okay, so... This... That's the dude in the air? No, this is the dude in the air. And the dude in the air is the one that fired at me, right? Yes, fired... Three bolt, two bolts of fire, and one bolt, bolt at Pat. Of a fire. Yeah. Of. That's the mage, right? Is he taking any damage? Yes, he's taking lots of damage. Okay. I am going to cast the cantrip "Told the Dead." Okay. He has to make a wisdom save. Oh, oh! Did you take the sacred fighter? Yes, that's or what it's called, not blessed fighter. Yeah, or or, Wait, or whatever it's called. Or sacred. I think it's blessed. I can't remember. I don't know. But that's yeah, cool. I like that. Blessed warrior. Blessed warrior. Okay. Uh, what's his? I need to look up his wisdom save. Uh, alrighty. Let me just make a roll. Ooh, he. What, what's your spell save DC? I forgot to calculate that. So, spell save DC is calculated how again? Uh, your 8 plus your charisma plus your proficiency bonus. Okay, 12. Alright, he succeeded on a dirty 20. Okay. So that does no damage. Um, oh no, it's Pat, turn, uh... Guys, kill him. Um, Pat draws another, uh, hand axe, and he did say, what, from what Pat said, he was gonna charge in. So I assume that means attack someone. Um, from what he texted me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what he says. Five, ten, fifteen. Well, I gave Pat that, uh... Extra yes, AC. he does have. So he is going to make a swing with his axe. I don't know what his attack bonus is. Uh, well, he's got. Um, he, did, he took dual weapon fighting. So and that means he can add his. Base. Modified right, so. to his offhand attack. Uh, oh he has 18 goodness. strength, so it's plus 4 if he hits to the damage. But I don't you know, know what it is. You know what? No, I've, I've been using dice. I'm going to use the dice for this. It's strength plus proficiency. Yes. To hit. Plus so, strength, his strength first plus... attack is a dirty 20. His second attack, because he can make an offhand attack. Correct. The bonus action. That's a 3. But he does get a dirty 20 on the first hit. So that's going to be 1d6 plus 4 slashing damage. Ooh, nice. Max damage. Um, 10 points to number 3. I'm sorry. Yes, 3 points to level th 10 points to number 3. Very nice. All right. Um... Rob, it's your turn, sir. Alrighty. Hmm. Let's see. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move up behind Pat again. So Alrighty. Keep assisting him. I'm going to uh, attack that drow. Unless that drow is floating. No, that's uh, what? not the point, drow. Uh, move me behind the archer and I'll help... Uh, Attack this drow guy. 
Alright, which draw are you doing? Are you attacking? Alright, so... Um, are, are you right here? I am now. Okay. You should be able to move this. Move what? Oh, no. The I token. Can't. You can't oh, move it? Not giving me the, the right to. Huh. Control by... This is your name. Okay, anyways. Alright, are you swinging your sword? Your your hammer? I don't know what you got. We are swinging... Let me take a look at my selection. We're gonna swing the war hammer. Alright, and, and I assume... You... give some bludgeoning. And I'm assuming you have your shield in hand. Yes. Um, so, make your attack roll. Oh, natural 20. Alright. Yes. Uh, double the damage die. Okay. So that's two, six, that's eight, plus four. Or is that just the attack bonus? Does the attack bonus count for damage or no? No, you just you just double the dice that you roll. So in total I only did uh eight dice of damage. Eight dice of Plus damage. Eight. Plus your mod, right? You're a strength based fighter. Oh, I add the strength to it. Okay. Yeah, yeah you do add the strength to the damage, you just don't double your strength mod. Okay, so in that case it's ten damage. Alright. You guys are... So you take your... So Pat, he runs in, slams his axe into him. You come over, take your war hammer, and just knock him right over the head. You kind of knock him off balance, but he, he gets right back up. Um, It's the drow's turn to retaliate. So, fire's been shooting out. You guys have been throwing javelins. Um, Some drow been hiding. It's, it's, it's getting crazy. All right, so the drow that went into hiding, he is going to reappear right behind you and make a sneak attack. Who, me? Uh, yes, against you. Good luck. Um, it's a natural 20. Mm, oh, boy. Okay, but that's okay. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. All right. I'll probably die, but that's okay. That's half the fun. <laughs> listen, listen. All right, so that's 2d6. Oh, boy, it's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, sorry, Rob. <laughs> uh, we'll do, yep, 2d6 there, and then he, he is a rogue, so he does an additional... 2d6. Just tell me the damage. Which is doubled. Uh, I'll get there in a second. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I, yep. Alright, we're gonna lower this. Alright. You're taking a, a total of uh, 19 damage. Yeah, I'm dead. Are you yeah, knocked down? Are you down? Or I'm, are you... Knocked. I'm knocked down. I have 17 hit points. Okay. Okay. All right, that's the drow. All right, number three's turn. Um, okay. Um, he is going to look at Pat. Take a swing at Pat with his rapier. Misses as Pat grabs the sword and kind of like parries it. Um. Um, draw number two is going to approach you, Aaron, 10, 15, and is going to make a swipe against you. Uh, does a, uh, oh shoot, does a, uh, does a, uh, sorry. Does a 20 hit? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll do... This was the number 2 drow. It's going to be 1d6. Uh, 1d6. 
plus 4. You take 9 points of damage, of uh, piercing damage. Okay, I'm down. You're down. Uh, Alright, it is the mage's turn. Uh, he sees... He is down. He is down. He is going to... Begin floating this way, kind of like slowly guiding this way. And he is going to uh, begin talking. I see you tried to rescue your friends. <laughs> oh well, I guess you will die with them. He begins preparing casting a spell. Brad, it is your turn. Okay. Since I noticed the first time I tried to cast a spell and attack it, it didn't work on the mage. But he's currently doing something else, so... The, I will say this. The spell would have worked if it had... Your spell works. It worked. Like, it, he didn't, like, dispel it. It... There was something else to him sort of deflecting the attack with some sort of body double or something. Does that still seem to be in effect, that body double? No. Or does it appear, he appears normal right now? He appears normal. He appears as one, as one individual. All right, well, let's waste my other spell on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> my other spell. I was going to, I will see, no, I think actually what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to attack this drow that came up and knocked down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast, so bonus action, ensnaring strike. Okay. And then I'm going to attack um, that gentleman right there at the very top, I believe. Okay. This one right here? No, the far left. Oh, this one. Nope. Up. Oh, this one. That's the one. Alrighty. I'm going to cast ensnaring strike and shoot him with an arrow and hope for the best. Alrighty. Oh, 16 on the die, plus 8. 24 to hit. That hits. Alright, so the DC is it's strength-based, and it's 13, unfortunately. Very low, but 13. Wow. So he is not a damage. He is not a strong... I'm not He's a not a strength-based person. Alright, so the damage is going to be... 6 plus 4 is 10 damage. Plus, okay. if he fails, then he's wrapped up in thorny vines, and he takes 1d6... Oh. Uh, piercing damage at, I believe, the start of his turn, but let me confirm. He fails, and roll all your damage. He sa Say again? Roll all your damage, because he failed. I already got 10 from the arrow, and okay. then it says, while rest so, all right, the next time you hit a creature, blah, 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 writhing mass of thorny vines, strength saving throw. If the target succeeds, the vines shrivel away. Uh, while restrained, the target takes 1d6 piercing damage at the start of each of okay. its turns. So, okay. he's just restrained. Okay. If well, he gets a chance to uh, free himself every at the start of each of his turns. Um, so, at the start of his turns, he can try to break the vines again. Okay. Against my spell save DC of 13. As you let loose the arrow, it makes its place right in between, like, the... the um, the, the metal, or the, um, what metals or leathers that he has, and as the vines wrap around his body, uh, he screams in pain as he's dead. Cool. Alright, so at that point, uh, I'm gonna move over to where he was in order to defend the fallen members of my party. Okay. Well, so darn it, there's another person right there, and there's someone right there with him, right? Yeah, I'm yes. gonna go join. I'm gonna go join Pat on his okay. side and try to. Okay. So I'm gonna go where that guy just died from. Okay. Or just died let me from. let Pat know that two of his members are two of his party members are down. Okay. Um, let me do that. <laughs> I think both of us are gonna regret not taking cure wounds. Uh oh no! You guys yeah, didn't take cure wounds. Oh no! I know. I know. I know I didn't. I don't know about Pat. Um, Aaron and 
of Rob. So right real now. quick, when did Rob cast Shield of Faith on me? I didn't cast on you. I cast, he cast on Pat. Oh, okay, I thought he said me. Well, I thought that Archer got as you for a second, but it wasn't. Oh, oh okay. Um, Aaron, it is your turn, sir. Roll a death saving throw for me. And remember, you do have two points of inspiration. I did give I did give, give you those. Okay, so I've never used that before. I don't actually know how it works. Um, you like get a luck point. It's essentially a luck point. You get advantage on attack roll. You can give me disadvantage on attack roll or saving throw. Um, you can give yourself advantage on death saving throws. Um, I've done that before. Um, yeah. What um. Uh, I'll give myself advantage on All right. my this death save and then. So roll a d twenty. Quick question: Do all of us have that right now, or is there something that happened from role playing? Because I'm. Oh, I I gave that to uh, to Aaron because he showed up really early, um, and oh, he never shows up last early. time. Yeah, he he never shows up early, so. That's too yeah. funny. Just making sure I didn't miss something. No. <laughs> Um, and I'm going above yeah. the, the the one inspiration. I'm going two and more. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm I want to be nice yeah. as a DM. So, um, yeah. So roll your d20, uh, Aaron. You rolled a twelve. Aaron rolled a twelve, and all right. So you, so you do succeed. Um, you see, see, you have you've succeeded one death sa saving throw. Okay. What's the six like success versus failure again? Um, ten and above is a success. Okay, one and nine is a failure. If you get a one, you lose two death saving throws. If you get a twenty, you go back up to one HP. Okay. Um, Pat, it is his turn. I am going to assume he attacks number three. Um, I will continue to assume that. Um. Um, he will make two attack rolls plus uh, they both hit um, uh, we'll do yes they hit uh Oh, so, I noticed that you didn't move me on the map. Sorry. That's all right. I'm just making sure I know where everything's at. You moved right here, right? Oh. I'm sorry. No, I moved where did you... to where Pat was. Like, wherever oh. that drow that I killed was, I moved yes. to his okay. square. There you go. Sorry. Got it. I got a million things. No <laughs> oh. I feel you. I just noticed it. In case there's an opportunity, you know, an attack of opportunity, I want to be there. Right, right, right. Um, no, it makes sense. Okay, so Pat does a lot of damage. Um, does 14 damage to this guy. Uh, he kills him. Uh, does he kill? He does kill him! Yay! Uh, he does kill this guy. Um, yeah. I'll let him know that he killed him. Um. Uh, Pat, you killed... A drow. Alright. See, this fight isn't so bad, guys, right? <laughs> Alrighty, so, um, so, um, Brad, you fired an arrow at Odral, you sort of, like, you kill him, he pierces, the vines wrap around him, um, Pat, you're running in, you're slamming your axes right into him, Rob, roll a death saving throw for me. Ten. Ten? That's a save. You succeed. Okay. You succeed one death saving throw. Um, let's see. We got three is gone and four is gone. Number two is left and one, the mage. Um, let's see. Uh, Aaron and Rob are down. Sorry. Uh, Pat just wanted to know how you guys are doing. Okay. So. So. Um. 
Alrighty. Um, so this number two guy, he's gonna spit on Aaron's on, on Aaron's dead body because filthy humans. Um, <laughs> and he is going to he's gonna analyze both Pat and y'all, and he is going to look over and rush Nyal's character. <laughs> so strangers to the rescue. Power Rangers. Um and so <laughs> so Brad, this yep. the guy who this just Brad. knocked the guy who knocked um Tivius is now rushing you. Uh, he's gonna make an attack. He's gonna rush the seven foot tall furball. Yes, he's rushing the fur <laughs> he's killed a fur bulk before. He's not afraid of you. But not this fur bulk. Uh does a sixteen hit. Barely. I have a 15 AC. Oh, alright. So he slams his rapier right inside your gut. Uh, wait, what's the... Is it a short sword or rapier? Let me just check my notes real quick. It is but a scratch. It is a short sword. My apologies. Um, That's okay. Is nine points, of, nine points of damage. Okay. Alrighty. And now it is... The mage's turn. Uh, man, this mage could wipe you guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah! Um. Do it. Oh, I don't want to be mean though. Uh, you um, gotta do it though. Just do it. Just, yeah, the monsters know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh no, Rick! Oh Rick! Uh, the Gee, mage... Rick! I really wish I didn't roll a twenty. Uh, the mage right, begins. That's what you're here to do. The mage, uh, floats down, and he begins monologuing a little bit more. I really expected you all to put up a fight, but I think. Your lives are worth more than that. And he is going to extend his hand. Pa uh, Brad, it looks like he's extending to, to you. N -n but mm -hmm. as you watch this, this drow in front of you, he's ready to kill you. But he begins to look in fear as he turns around. What are you doing? As his arms sh pierce into his ribs, his legs pierce upwards, his head slamming down, turn this mage seeming to turn this this drow into a ball of mat mush. As Meatball. <laughs> as he then to the fourth drow. Yes, he does it to the fourth drow. And seeming ripping this drow apart. So, you uh, he be, he then lands. Initiative is over. I would tend to your friends, and then we can talk. Brad, it's Don't your know turn. Don't that I would want to talk to anybody that would do such a thing to my purple <laughs> clan. He. He didn't do that to you perfectly. He disfigured that drow. What business do you have here? Why are you here amongst all of these bodies, dismembered, screaming in pain? Well, it's... Hey, that's what we showed them before fighting, so ask them why. These... <laughs> let's just say, I play, the, I play the long game of deceiving and playing what side matters most. Bad sitter. <laughs> I'm dead, by the way, so I can't talk. <laughs> well, if initiative, they should go back to one HP. Oh, cool. Right? <laughs> Everybody just revives with one HP out of combat. If they're not dead, dead. Well, do you want to go check on them? Yeah, you haven't checked on me. I could be dead, yeah. you know? I mean... Yeah. Uh, Aaron and Rob, roll ro roll another death saving throw for me. Yeah, I'm talking to this monologue. And do one natural. Yay! You get to one HP. Aaron, roll death saving throw. 
<laughs> you, you have advantage. You have one more uh, inspiration. You have one more inspiration. Holy shit. You have one more inspiration. Five. Oh, no. Hey, uh, uh, Rob, you got those healing spells, right? Anyways. Uh, I'm going to cast... Uh, can I cast something? You got, I think you got Cure Wounds or Healing Word. I have Healing Word. I get it. And is he by me by chance? Is he next uh, to me? Healing Word has a range of 60 feet as a bonus okay, action. Cool. First level what spell. About, what about my channel? Whatever, the, whatever it's called. Dang the it channel is. divinity only heals temp HP, not actual HP. Alright, Healing Word it is. Are you ready? Where is it? There, I have it ready. Let's see. Creature charge under one d four plus sure spellcasting ability. Fifteen four d four. Wow. There it is. Found one. All right. And where do I find my spellcasting ability modifiers? I can tell. Uh yeah, that's oh, your it it's whatever your wisdom is. Ah, I see. My wisdom. You get five health back. Five health back. Aaron, you're now at cool. five HP. Cool. I. Do, do, do. What? Hello. One second. Uh, can lay on hands affect myself? Yes. Okay. What is the pool? Of... Oh, it's okay. It's five times two, or your class level. Yeah. Okay, so I hear myself another 10. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, as you guys heal up, um, you notice this mage, he's a, bit, a, bit, a young drow, um, slicked back white hair, but he motions his hands and sort of just... Uh, he mo moves his hands, maybe casting something, and he now looks older, um, which is strange for elves to look older. I have been, Ancient. I have been following this group of, uh, what would you say, drow for a while. Um, they've been stalking the woods. Let's just say I disguised myself as a one of their own and. Like I said, I play whatever side fits best, but in this case, I had to play the long game to eventually betray them. I'm going to use Disguise Self to try to appear as nice. Rao as possible. Okay. If you'll allow it, and then say, I well, too could do what am you familiar do. with using illusion to deceive Watch. and to further agendas and goals. And now I'll change back. Very well. Using it for emphasis. Yes, I understand. I like that. I like that. Um, I'm also gonna do an insight check if you if you'll allow it. Uh, sure. Being, being, uh, sure. Roll. Do the same? Yeah. Yeah. You can roll an insight. Yeah. You guys can all roll insight checks. I will to see if he's bullshitting. <laughs> okay. My insight. I got a 13 plus 5 for 18 total. Alrighty. I have a total of 14. Alrighty. Um, he seems to be telling the truth. Okay. I don't um, have enough drow to know when a drow is lying anyway. This, and then the Furbolg and Orc. Um, yeah, so I got a 17 as well. Okay, yeah. He seems to be telling the truth. Are you going to heal these appendages? Go ahead. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I am just a wizard. Uh, fortunately, basic healing is out of my scope of expertise. 
Uh, let me I just feel like they need more than basic healing, but <laughs> the jaw seemingly is the jaw wizard is seemingly no longer hostile towards you guys, and explains. So I'm just writing this to Pat. Thank you. So that you arrow like, I shot at that dude you. knocked him for a loop. Yes. Yeah. I always go for the magic user though first. They're the, they're the they... game changers. <laughs> My name is Ma Majo. It is a pleasure meeting you all, and I, Majo. I, Majo. 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 I am Nyo. Nyo. Amud. I am sorry about your friends, and he looks over to the half orc behind you guys, and also apologizes. If you didn't do this, then you have nothing to apologize for, but sincerely, thank you. Well, sometimes... You're still alive, right? Yes, the half-orc and the furbolg begin walking. They look really beaten. Just, they look... Um, and they begin... You take a shower. <laughs> no, they look, they like, no bloodied. Arms, right? Like, they look... <laughs> no, they have arms. It's the, um... The... The muscles underneath their arms are cut, making their arms loose, and they really can't pick them up. Gotcha. Okay, I oh. pictured the whole time that they had their appendages, their arms removed, but good. Cool. They can recover. They took their arms off. They took their arms? I don't know. They cut and underneath where... They... Yeah, they cut the tendons where you can't really do anything with it, or the muscles. Yeah. Um, Nyal, you noticed the furbolg. Begins going up to you. Brother. I thought He's you were gone. Giant? He's speaking in giant. Brother. I'm glad you came. Where have you been? I'm going to answer back in giant as well. The, You're far from home. The old fathers. They sent you visions, yes? They did. It seems you need to go back, though, with your state. No. You not continue. The, the drow. This drow here. He, he's been trying to protect the forest. They, they found the portal where we came from. We must go back. Send word to the All Father, and I shall send for you all. All right. Take care, friend. Travel safely. And then the orc also begins talking to um, um, Grima, um, Grimaan about a few things. Um... And then they also begin to head out. So, my again, my apologies oh, for. Throwing... I have a question for you. Do you know anything about what's going on on the uh, western side of here, the whole uh, or eastern side of here with the whole uh, uh, the line breaking with the dragons? The I have no clue. I have been. I have been All stuck right, in. I've... I've been stuck in the woods, uh, trying so, to defend it against Drow. You've been in the woods. I have another question for you. Do you know anything about a missing person by the name of Silas? Silas, 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 ah, that name. He's not much of a talker. Old, old, old uh, friend, old friend. There's also, if you also have seen an illusionist, by chance. Silas. Perhaps Silence. you know the name uh, Swan, the Swan, Swan or the Prophet. Swan. These are missing Swan. individuals we're looking Swan. for. The Swan, the Poet, the Poet, the Poet, the Prophet, the Prophet, the Poet. Yeah. Silence. Si and you begin, you begin to notice he, sort of recalling memories. He sounds maybe a bit crazy. Yeah, uh, he probably has dementia. I don't know. Yeah, m maybe the age has gotten up to him. The, yeah. The illusionist. You mean? like this and he pulls himself again y'all you see this like hey that's the trick he did uh he kind of sure. pulls himself and you now see two of him sure that kind of like, illusion like yeah. that kind of illusion ah well if i Maybe. if i see an illusionist i i will let you know i'll let you know okay 
Well, are you able to send messages from long distance with it? I, I think I think so. Yes, yes. I should I should be able to. If you're S able, or if you remember silence. that you're able, will you silence. reach out to us if you find such individuals? Oh yes, I. I'm Silas. What 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 did they say about the illusionists? That he's missing. Missing. Anything else? Not from what I've written down. And what does Silas? What, like, what is uh, he? He's like a holy person. Holy person. I Would Pat's that, uh... character remember? He was there for that conversation as well, yes? Yes, everyone was there for that conversation. Oh, I was there too? Yeah, yes. everyone was there. <laughs> you, you, also the remember, you also remember... Oh, the, you also remember the illusionist was someone who could help the king... I thought that this was a conversation okay. with the king prior to the combat. But no, no. Was, they told us about Silas first, us two, me and Patrick. Then they told the rest of us yes. after okay. combat. Okay, I forgot that part. Silas is like a uh, holy man. He last seen at the temple, went missing in the forest, down in this forest somewhere. Uh, he's not much of a talker. We think the drow are responsible for such uh, disappearance, but we're not sure. You know anything? Drow. You ask the mage. Yes. Mojo. Or Majo. Uh, hmm. Majo. Majo. Hmm, interesting. I, Silas, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. The, the poet, what? I haven't, I don't know. Hmm. Name sounds familiar. The illusionist, I'm very close with him, but... Uh, I'll let Maybe you know. Maybe if we find the illusionist, we'll find the rest well, of these guys. I'm sure. Let I'm sure. You, I'm sure you've already found him. But uh, yes. So, are you the illusionist? Because you did an illusion. <laughs> Same. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. But can I check his? <laughs> you can, can insight. You can insight check him. <laughs> Oh, that's better. Okay, I got a 21. Yeah, he's the illusionist. He is kind ah! of he is kind of like You're yeah, illusionist. like you put two and two together. He's <laughs> uh he no, he definitely is kind of crazy, but you do you he is kind of disappointed that you didn't put two and two together. Um Oh, I did now. So <laughs> Um the king needs you. You do know that. Kings and wanting to see you. He's a big fan of you. I think you should come along or head up north, you know. Be a great use. I, I think will... he's a fan of your tricks. I I will think about that. I I have lots of hey. unbus I have lots of unfinished business and he begins looking around to do. But uh Well what, what does can he we do to convince you to go back up north? Uh, there must be something you want done. Safety. That we could probably speed up. Safety. Alright, safety is the for king, who? Is the king still against magic? The, the, the arcane users? I mean, we did perform magic saving their asses. You, 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 but... you, you, you did? No. The king did. Who's Some the king? Did. Who, who, who is the king? Who, I don't know who he is. I forgot his name. Uh, <laughs> Not... I'm telling you. Uh, uh, you you would remember it was it was uh, King Themistocles. King Themistocles uh, what, is our current leader. And, and who who is that? I don't. Is he for magic? From what I've seen and how he acts, he doesn't seem to discriminate against magic users. So make a persuasion. Uh, make a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, persuasion. I got a six. Oh boy, he... oh, that's perception. Hang on. <laughs> um, Aaron. Uh, what are you yeah, guys doing? I, I honestly forgot if the king was against magic. Yeah, the the old king was. The old king was. But the current one isn't. Yeah, the current know. one's the current one is fine with magic. 
Okay, so he's fine with magic, and I can't persuade him because he's too crazy. So and, what, and what did you roll for? Pers and what did you? He rolled a six. Yeah. Yeah, he he seems very untrusting. Aaron, what are you doing? So, recap real quick. Was this guy talked about in the session I missed? Uh, the illusionist. Yeah. When you get, possibly. Um, you guys. Sorry, I that's alright. Like the session, the session would have been the one that like led us to like the choice we made at the start of this session. Oh, that. So last week we didn't have a we, we didn't have a session. Um, yeah, the week before. All right. Um, that may have been. Um, yeah, I think that was. It was. You guys were all. You guys were all brought in to discuss. Um, certain sort of missing, missing people that like the king like wanted to find. Um, th th there were three people. It was Silas. It was the illusionist and the prophet or the swan as they called him. Um, the prophet of what? He was just called. He was either called the prophet, the swan, the poet. He had a few different titles. Or oh, okay. They had a few different titles. Um, okay. I thought you said the prophet of the. No, like... no. Sorry. Um, yeah, the he, prophet, he, comet, the swan, comma. Yeah. The, um, oh, oh shit, my ear. All right. So <laughs> pulled my mic out. So the, I thought you said the prophet of the swan no, or no. swamp, and I'm like, what's that? <laughs> no. So <laughs> sorry. Hello. So um, so this mage seems to be seems to be telling the truth about who he is. Uh, the, okay, so he is the illusionist. He is the illusionist. Well, at least we can tell the king you're still alive and you're doing all right. So if you choose not to come back, at least he knows you're safe. Uh, he he pats in his pocket and he hands a stone to you. Um, actually, never mind. I, I won't give you that. I, I will contact you when I'm ready. Okay. We all ears. Uh, Brad, uh, Aaron, what do you guys so, want to do? I'll ask Pat if he wants to say anything. So, while this is all going on and, and they're figuring out he's the illusionist and stuff, I would assume that I'm kind of gathering that, but like passively because I'm thinking about my brother going back to the hole and what lies south in the forest and i'm kind of yes. just along you know yes. ruminating and thinking and contemplating and stuff so yes not actively interrogating yes um what's his name uh ma 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 jet ma jo ma jo okay so I i'll get it next time <laughs> uh let's do Aaron, what are you doing? So I am going to roll to try and persuade him to come back with us. And during the course of that persuasion, I am going to also ask him if he wants to, or if he has any tasks for us to do. Sure. As well. And what do you say to persuade him? Uh, uh, just that it'd be a big help to, to us and our cause if he came back with us. Alrighty. Um, sure and that, like, I would do any, like, I would do a task for him if that would help. Suck okay. your toes. <laughs> Jeez. Not that. <laughs> that is now going on YouTube. Uh, yeah, sure. Roll for persuasion. Uh, roll for um, persuasion. I'm gonna say that fails. Yeah, he he is. I yes, I just don't. The new king, the old king. What? How? How many years has it been? It's been so long. Uh, anyways, uh. I. I, I will let you know when there's things that you can help me with. Okay. Okay. Do, do keep keep in touch. I have you yes, in I... my mind. 
Uh, but I I must be going. Uh, what goodbye. What lie in this forest, wizard? Uh, the the drow. Drow. There's always drow. N not me, of course. I'm not in danger. Oh, kind of. Um, a liability. Um, technically. but <laughs> technically, I am a liability. <laughs> um, um, there may be kobolds. There may be other goblinoid. Uh, owlbear, owlbear, and possibly a troll. But I have some things to attend to. Again, apologies for the display and use of lethal force. Al is forgiven. Uh, goodbye. And he... We will be ready for your message. He brings his hands together and he sort of like envelops on himself and he disappears. Oop. I've seen that trick. He's still here. <laughs> He's just behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally behind okay. a tree. Totally I'd behind like to, a tree. I would like to roll uh, perception. Sure, you can roll for perception. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my gosh. Almost a 20, but not quite. Uh, I got a 23. 23? Um, you. So, it is getting pretty dark now, and you have like your, your 300 yeah, foot. Vision. You have like your yeah. 300 foot night vision. Yeah, he's nowhere to be found. You, you even look oh, for like. Man. You even look. This is more of like an investigation, but I'll say you look for like footprints and you don't see any. So Well he can hover, so <laughs> uh, well I guess I guess it was a pretty good trick. Anywho, uh are we camping here tonight, fellas, or we gotta keep moving down this path? It's pretty dark. Um I'm gonna ask the trees. I know it's very Lorax of me, but I'm gonna speak to the trees. Or the plants in the area and ask them if it's safe. Uh, I know I can't like understand them like speech wise. Oh, but I'm gonna look at some it. kind of sign that says like this area is safe for camping. You so yeah, with your fur bulk ability, you can like speak to animals and they understand you. Right. Beasts and plants understand me, but I don't understand yes. them because there's no language. But yes. they can like try to communicate what I want to. Yes, I'm, just I'm gonna roll sure to I'm gonna roll a d20 just to see. Okay. Uh, you really get no response. Um, you look for like leaves like if branches are shimmering um, yeah, you don't really get any sort of like Force. terrible reception. Yeah. Okay. Well, we do know that Drow have been in this area. Perhaps we should find another or we could assume that we've secured this area and camp yeah I think I think it's probably safe to say secured this area we'll just do night watch and we should make it through the night we're on the edge of the forest right Danger's huh. not further in. you guys are in. like in the middle of the forest oh. yeah well no place better than the present. Yeah, you guys are about like in the middle. Uh, here, I'll show you guys where you're at. So you guys are about right here. Like, like dead center. Or, no, sorry, right, like, right dead center here. Right under A for rat. Right under A. Yeah, alright, I mean, I think we'll be fine. Be fine, and really plus, really if they end up attacking us, they'd be it. They'd be attacking the wrong people. Okay, but we'd be prepared. I'll even to call. It. Can I? Is there any chance that if I play with my my uh? I forgot it's called. I have a bunch of items that do religious things, but I don't know what they do. You have a holy any book. Chance, if you I, have two holy symbols. If I prayer, any chance if I pray, will, will there be a chance of protection from from the Almighty? <laughs> make make a wisdom check for me. 
as you're praying, you know, you're sitting down. I, how, how does your prayer look? How, how does your prayer look? Wisdom, and what God? And what God are you praying to? I am praying to. I scroll down. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh, the the uh, Eberron one. Oh, yeah, yeah. protection. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Make a make a wisdom check for me. Okay. So that's gonna be a D twenty plus your wisdom modifier. Hey, you know you can add religion in there too if you are proficient with religion. I am. So okay. Religion. So you're okay. adding. So it's your wisdom plus your. Is religion intelligence based or? Religion is intelligence. Intelligence. Okay. So am I adding just my intelligence? You. Uh, it's going to be a reli wisdom religion role. So instead of adding okay, intelligence, so you're adding your wisdom to Wisdom it. and then religion. Okay. Yeah. So I have a 19. All right. You say a very wonderful prayer. Um, I'll say you're off on the side saying this wonderful prayer. Um, and you get a nice warm feeling in your heart. I um, feel good. Feel good. You feel like you've been listened to. Um, all right. Uh, it is like I'm nine. Really it's getting pretty late now. Um, do you guys find a good spot to bed down? Do you bed down in the middle of the road? Do you find a safer spot? I'm, are there furbled bodies on the ground? There the are. Side? There are. A, I'll say furbled here. Fur, furbled. Shoot. Here. I'm going and to. And here are the furbled bodies. Okay. I'm going to go and I'm going to take their bodies and i'm going to go put them to rest in the ground already and i will and say i'm going to look at what's it grimond grimond what's the half orc yeah grimond grimond i'm going to nudge him and ask him like gesture to the the orc yeah yeah um according to my customs and stuff my culture character uh, berries. Your. I'm going to do a, na a nature Same. investigation around the area for a good spot to. Sure, make a. Or nature or survival. Survival. Well, oh, that'd be survival. Ooh, before that, sorry, before I finish this, while I'm doing this, I'm checking their pockets and stuff like that. Yeah. Of the uh, bold, not the half orcs. I'm looking for anything that might be of use. Uh, Carry you, find... you can let me know. Go ahead. I'll just say you find, um, you don't really find, you find a mall, like a, like a, a mall and a great sword. You don't really find much. A mall and a great sword. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'll take, yeah. Roll, or did you roll? You roll for survival. Um, and, and what was your survival check for? Um, just so I know. Uh, a, a good spot in the surrounding areas um, yeah. to make camp. Yeah, you find... Like the immediate uh, vicinity. Yeah, th there's, there's a few good spots. Um, you notice a little campsite out over here. You notice a little outcove over here that you're able to find that, that seemed like a pretty good defensible and safe spot. Sorry, what was the second one? Uh, over here. So Wait... So here, wait, whoops. Here. So there, and then where? Over here. Okay. Which one seems better to me? Or should uh, I roll again? Eh, this one. I don't know. Okay. So I I informed the party. Alrighty. You. Alrighty. So, I'm assuming you guys bed down for the. You guys make your way over this little alcove. You set up your tents, your fireplace, or your campsite. Um, and I'm gonna call it there. It's getting kind of late. Alright. Sounds good to me. Um,. I'm glad that I had signal, because I was looking forward to this. 
me too. Um, um, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, other than like, you know, it kind of sucked that we had like the recept, like it was a bit confusing with having one person be texting, having text Pat yeah. and John, but you know, I think it was fun overall. 